All right, here we go. Part two of rigging this Caracal STS. She's a beaut, son. She's a beaut. Uh, we're gonna get her, get her finished rigged up. Uh, if you didn't watch the part one, part one we did the batteries in the back, and then uh, we started getting all the wiring done. Uh, so we're part of the way through. Didn't want to make each video too long, but we we're gonna finish up the wiring at the console. We're gonna mount these Garmin lob scope boxes in the rod locker got a bunch of wires there we'll get that cleaned up we'll show you that and then we need to get the two lob scopes mounted on the move um, and then we're going to get the the big mbt monster screen mounted up on the front that's it right there and then we'll have the 12 inch garmin up there as well we're going to put it on that balls out mount right there we'll get the and then Hopefully we'll get everything mounted on the console. So stay with us and uh, we'll show you the updates as they go. All right, so we made some made some good progress today. Uh, we have, uh, with some help from my buddy, Mr. Brandon Pritchett, uh, we got that, that thing uh, on there and we got the steering back. I gotta assemble it and, and clean everything up, but good. And I've already started with the live scope up there. We've got the base mounted check this out we got the base already mounted so just giving you the update and we're going to put these two arms on there i've got to mount the that on there as well but let me show you here just a second show you this bad boy i'll set it up so that you can see it and then let's check this out Got a little screw that holds it on right there and bam son look at that easily seeing over the steering situation plenty of room for your hands this is uh pretty slick it was worth all the trouble i tell you it was it's going to be really worth it i mean it's going to be solid as a rock gotta put that little set screw in there and then you can just take that set screw out boom all right, so that thing's pretty slick. Let me uh, show you what it looks like all mounted up here. Look at that. Dude, she's solid. It is all connected. And I am very happy we got all that. I just got to get all those, that backlash cleaned up. And then I got to finish up a few more things up in the front. We'll get the uh, ludicrous graph mounted and uh, we'll probably break it in here soon. So, uh, gonna be done for today um be back in just a blink to finish it up tomorrow you'll see it so before i tuck this all up into there i wanted to show you a couple things look at this here this is the the power that comes to for the graphs now i've connected the power for the for the garmin and for the the hummingbird and for the remote the power pole remote that goes up there but these are six gauge wires so that there's the one six gauge comes from the battery and then the other six gauge goes up to the front and they go into this fuse block so before i tidy all this up i'm gonna tidy all of it up get it all tucked back up under there real neat like it was uh in in better uh, actually it was extremely tidy uh, but I'm going to get it back under there. But it just, I figured I'd show you that, that block. Because there was one there. And you saw that one in the front uh, that was up there. So that, that's, the way, that's the way Bass Cat does it. There's no issues there. All right, and then the other thing I'm going to show you is that this is the big MBT Marine mount. This is the balls out mount that it's going to go on. So it's going to go right there just like that. So I've got to mark it. I'm going to mark it in the middle, you know, kind of how we need it and then i'm gonna get it marked on there uh bolted on there i should say i've got the the bolts on there stainless bolts with the lock nuts and this thing uh they didn't put any holes in it because uh they i guess they everybody wants it a little bit different so you you just leave it the blank and then you can just drill your holes and uh be done with it so we're gonna do that here in a second i'll show you what it looks like all right we got her got her mounted on there solid We'll get it up on the boat here in just a minute, but there it is. 
All right, so we got this bad boy on there and I'm just gonna go run it on the lake and make sure everything's good. I might need an extra support on it because it's this thing weighs 20 pounds. That bad boy weighs 20 pounds. Um, we're gonna get it turned on and look at it once we get to the lake, but there's the there's the other and there's that that mount. I think the 12 inch seems pretty rock solid, but the MBT, I don't I'm gonna have to get some kind of some kind of little support or something. Um so I'll check up with MBT on that, but everything else pretty much dialed. I'm gonna show you the show you what I've got on the front here. So for my live scopes, I got the the uh this one and uh, these are the fish obsessed mounts i went with those uh we're gonna see how much i like them but i i heard really really good things about them uh, so we got this guy in forward this guy in perspective and you know one's gonna go on one one's gonna go on the other you can kind of go back and forth between which one 52 inch move again and you can see i ran you know those the live scope cables in there it's real clean it's a real clean mount and everything but that 52 um one other little tip one little deal is that they have these pre-drilled holes and there's a couple places that have bounce busters i am going to get one of those bounce busters i did not i do not have it yet for this rigging video uh but i, I may do a separate video kind of on that and kind of throw it out there on social media to show you guys but it got got everything all cleaned up tidied up look at that cleans the whistle up under there Got my Garmin and my hummingbird over there, uh, so we're gonna we're gonna go to the lake, test this thing out. So that's the uh, second part of the rigging. I got a few little tiny things to uh, to touch up, but almost almost done. I am definitely done for for right now for the rigging. I'm gonna go test it, and then we're gonna come back, make sure everything everything works. But fingers crossed, guys. Fingers crossed. Next video gonna be first look at the Caracal on the water. So stay tuned.